All right, here we go. Getting set for the primo matchup of the district playoffs, York and Redland. And when it comes to Redland basketball, there's nothing better than the Red Sea, and Mark Hall is with them. Mark. Oh, that's right, Greg. You're talking about tradition, and it's March Madness. And you want to talk about madness. Let's talk about the Red Sea fans. Hey, guys! James, let's just talk about what makes the Red Sea special and why are you the captain? I mean, we got a lot of dedicated fans here. We all show up to games. We've had we've had crowd all season long. It's craziness. I mean, now we're here at the big dance and I feel honored to be the captain. And Coach Slayton and Mr. Apple, our athletic director, have afforded me that. It's it's just unbelievable. Like, I, I, don't, I can't explain the experience. Well, James, how do you get these guys fired up? Because right now they sound like they're in the library. I can't hear them. No, we're not in the library. We're not in the library. Free game, it's free game. You'll see us when we get the game started. We'll be in New York's head. We get in everybody's head. That's our game. That's our game. That's we let our team do what we want and we get in their heads. All right, James, That's thank you very good. much. Well, the Red Sea, they're here. Redlands here, and York is here. Just moments away from tip out. Greg, let's go back. All right, Charlie, let's talk about these two teams. I want to take a look at the clips from the from the semifinal games. And we'll go ahead and take a look at those. And, and they, they were two great semifinal games. First, Redland upset Redding in the semifinals. Well, and, and, and they demonstrated this young man right here after getting injured, went ahead and put a, a bandage around his head and led his team uh, through the pressure of that Redding uh, uh, defense. And then Mike Zingari came out and had 14 points in the third quarter after having a, uh, a pretty lame first half. But there you see the bandage. And now the whole team this game is wearing the, uh, a white bandage on their head uh, to signify the heart and hustle it took to get to this championship game. And there's Nick Diller leading his team, slicing through the Reading defense. And that's why this Redland uh, team feels like that they can beat the York Bearcats today because they went through a very quick Reading team. Um, you know, however, this York Bearcats presents a different problem. All right, and we want to take a look at the York Bearcat team because and a lot of people were, were wondering if we would wind up with a Cedar Cliff Redland final, but let's take a look at this York team. The Cedar Cliff fans, of course, were out in force here as well at the Giants Center the other night, but a uh, great pass there inside to Noel Aru, but uh, boy, York is flashy. They're a lot of oh, fun to yeah, watch. Yeah, well, here you go. You got York, you got Kelvin Parker showing how he can leap two tall buildings at a single bound, and tonight it's going to have to be two six nine and seven, six eleven players in a single bound, but uh, Calvin Parker is amazing. Deja Williams, uh, four. Uh, there's Deja, Deja Williams feeding to Tavon Parker, Calvin's younger brother. They have a, a cast of guys that can create and make things happen. And, and they want to turn this into a track meet, Greg. This footage again, Cedarcliff here, it, it just shows how, how York wants to speed the game up and, and how uh, Redland's going to need to do the same thing they did against Redland and temper that with their zone defenses. Opening tip-off coming up, the boys' Quad A Championship, York and Redland, next on ABC 27. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, weathered a handful of recessions, and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. All-state freshman Malia Tate DeFridis tore her ACL in a heated state playoff dreams seemed shattered. I tried to come back in and it wasn't working out. I thought that my basketball career was over. Getting an assist from the doctors at Arlington Orthopedic, Malia is ready to attack the hoop this season. It feels good when I jump and cut and stuff. It feels normal and the brace really helps me. To go from tears to a smile, it was, it was, it was just a beautiful thing. To play at a championship level requires a level of discipline few ever achieve. 
You prepare, you focus, and make a commitment to excellence. That's Hoffman Ford, number one in sales and in service. Because the customer is number one. Choose from over 400 vehicles in stock. Plus, we're your Roush performance dealer. Bigger selection, better deals. Hoffman Ford. Advanced Hoops is celebrating 10 years of training youth in the Harrisburg region. In 2010, we trained over 1,000 youth from kindergarten to 12th grade. Our spring program is going to be amazing. So as I pass the ball, you make the call. To get any questions answered regarding our spring games, shooting, dribbling, or AAU opportunities. We specialize in making training look easy. And Charlie is not the only one that can shoot a basketball around here. Starting lineups being introduced here at Giant Center. Greg Mace, Charlie Fortney, Mark Hall, our advanced hoops ABC 27. Final live telecast of the year and we have picked a great one for that. Billy Wilt is in the center of the Redland Circle. He is a, a senior and he is a, clearly the uh, dancing machine here. And here's the uh, York High Bearcats. They are being introduced. And this has the makings of maybe one of the best games of this season. Well, it, absolutely because it's going to be a battle of styles. I mean, York High, I would be surprised if they didn't, if each kid on their team didn't have a pair of track shoes on right now because they want to make Steve Zach and Mike Zingari run this court, this 94-foot college length court. They want them to run it the entire 32 minutes. Um, it's going to be up to uh, Redland to do what they did against Redland, uh, Redding and to be able to handle that press, throw over the top of the press, and then also... The, the big guys uh, for Redland uh, need to step up early, uh, and, and Nick Diller in particular um, uh, has to have another big game leading his team as a senior from the point guard spot. Denny Kinlock, Mel Newcomer, and Travis Sorensen are our officials for the Quad A Boys Championship game. Glad you're with us here on ABC 27. Our second half of our doubleheader, Ole Valley won the first game, winning the girls' AAA championship, beating Lancaster Catholic 71-62. Set to go, York is in the white. And there is Redland coach Scott Slayton. Redland's gotten a lot of TV time this year on ABC 27. And we are set to go on the opening tip is won by the Patriots. Well, with seven foot Steve Zach, it should be won by the Patriots. <laughs> I'll tell you what, here's uh, York coming out in a very in-your-face man-to-man defense. Um, Duke Antonelli, who's very strong with the basketball, gets tied up there by Tavon Parker, Kelvin Parker, Lee, uh, who's the leading scorer for York's younger brother. Kelvin Parker is being guarded by Duke Antonelli. Coach Scott Slayton likes this matchup because Duke in no way is Kelvin Parker physically, but is the strongest defender on the Redland team. Dominic Antonelli. Mike's and Gary, Gary was the key to that separation in the semifinals. He needs to have a big game early on. Steve Zach missed. Newby got the rebound. Right back to Redland. There's Nick Diller. Well, these refs are letting these guys play right away. That's fun. Ball's coming right at us. Ooh. Wow, did you see the speed of Kelvin Parker? This young man's a tremendous football player. It's been said by the football coach, he has 4-4-40 speed, can jump out of the gym. Uh, just an amazing player. He has the ability to knock down a shot. He almost he almost caught that, got that ball, Greg, and that was clearly going out of bounds. <laughs> and flying right by us. Nobody's scored, opening minute five. Boys, quad A title. There's the first bucket of the game well, by Steven Zach. LaSalle bound Steve Zach is set his tone early and he as a senior leader he wants this championship he does him and nick diller do not want to leave redland not have him brought home the dish or crown for the redland patriots kelvin parker kelvin parker needs to be aggressive and stay aggressive in this game um he's going to need some help too from some of the bigs zach newby's going to have to give him some help colin smith at six threes going to have to give these guys some help That'll free Kelvin Parker up just to, to do what he does best, and that's create and score points. 2-0, opening two minutes. 
A three from the outside for Dominic Antonelli. Well, that's a good sign. Little Dominic can shoot the ball, and he's always better when he makes that first shot in the game. Five, and nothing, Redland. York's gonna have to keep track of Dominic. Out of that scramble is Diller. Redland runs. The Antonelli brothers. Duke not having the same success as his younger brother, but he can shoot the ball. Williams. Stays with York. Well, Dijon Williams averages 16 points a game to complement Kelvin Parker's 20 plus a game. Uh, he can get it going. He had a great semifinal. They got to get him involved in penetration. That, that's a nice start, huh? Well, and that's that's what we talked about in pregame. He's able to leap two tall players at a single bound. Probably the, one of the most amazing athletes I've ever seen. I had the privilege to coach this young man in AAU Showcase with Mike Zingari. Uh, Mike Zingari was not surprised at that. He's seen Kelvin do some amazing things, and hopefully that will get the York Bearcats going here because Redland has started out with a 5-2 lead, and they look, they look good right now. Kelvin Parker with a slam. Zengary didn't get the roll. It'll stay with York. Greg, that might have been one of the most athletic plays I've ever seen in a high school basketball game to throw that ball up over the zone. He went up and got that. Early going, first quarter. There and there's Dejan Williams. He has to get in the party with Kelvin to make this, this a, a success for York Bearcats here today. Here's Dick and Dillon, knows how to handle pressure, knows how to accelerate, and does. The closeout defense of York may, may be a little quicker than even Redding, and, and I think that's what uh, Nick Diller's experienced right, right there. The, the, the defense of the Bearcats is very good closing out on those shooters. Steven Zach. Five, four, and underneath it is Steven Zach. He's got four. Seven, four, and make it well, Tavon. Seven, seven. Well, Tavon Parker, a junior, uh, he's not going to be denied in the Parker family. He wants to be named among the great ones over there uh, in the Parker family, and he just showed how good he can be by hitting that three. Look at Nick Diller. Wow, Nick. This kid's tough as nails. NBA first half, first quarter pace. Diller again, Antonelli. Well, and there's Calvin Parker altering a shot. We've seen several times now that Redland, okay. Redland has had to alter their shot by the high-flying York Bearcats defense. Antonelli got it inside, and Gary didn't get a roll. Here come the Bearcats. Three well, on two if they hurry. Well, Mike Zingary missed Steve Zach wide open under the basket. Parker. Tell you what, Redland's not slowing the pace down either. And I'll tell you what, there's uh, you got Zach's huffing and puffing right now, and that's exactly what Coach Sowers wanted to happen. Patriots with a basketball and the two-point advantage, then Gary off balance. Parker clears the boards. Big time block. I think Coach Slayton would like Redland to make a couple extra passes here. They're, pa they're shooting right into the timing of the York Bearcats and taking the quick shots and, and not getting that, those angles uh, like they did against Redding. Turnover. Newby. Nine all and a racehorse first quarter. Just what we expected from the Quad A boys title game. The break is to Colin Smith. Time out. York with a two point lead early portions first quarter. Our color 
coffee's really 10 cents. Yeah, 10 cents. It's easy. Call Fortney Printing. They punch in the order, copies get made. Quickly put in boxes, Fortney Printing delivers on time. Wow, only 10 cents. Vans Tubes is celebrating 10 years of training youth in the Harrisburg region. In 2010, we trained over 1,000 youth from kindergarten to 12th grade. Our spring program is gonna be amazing. So as I pass the ball, you make the call. To get any questions answered regarding our spring games, shooting, dribbling, or AAU opportunities. We specialize in making training look easy. And Charlie is not the only one that can shoot a basketball around here. Eleven nine York on top. Two twenty four left here in the first quarter. Greg Mays, Charlie Fortney, Mark Hall. Mark, what did you hear on the bench? Well, Co Greg, Coach uh, Redland, Coach Scott Slate, the sense that his team was getting a little tired. Uh, they were breathing kind of heavy, and they had some turnovers at the end. He told his team to slow down, work the ball, work the ball inside, and they expect good things to happen. Let's send it back to you. Inside, Steve Zacks gets something good to happen. He's got six points. Yeah, and that's the key, being patient against this. And I'll tell you what, Greg, the keys of the game are already coming to pass here with Kelvin Parker starting out really hot. Nick Diller. Oh, Nick Diller. Diller's got four and the Redland lead back to two. Well, each game this season, we've talked about our Penn National keys of the game, and I will tell you, Kelvin Parker having a big game, and York Bearcats applying the pressure is, is the keys for York, and, and Redland, Nick Diller handling the pressure, and, and a big game from the big guys inside, which is not happening right now for Redland is the key, which is which is the reason, uh, I, I think, for, for York uh, in this game early. Steve Zack has eight of the opening 15 Redland points. Now, if they can get Steve going, 15-11, that's where the separation can be. York gonna have to keep slicing the defense and getting these easy baskets in transition. Davis. Wide open, his first two. Nice shot by Davis. Now they're playing full court pressure, denying defense. Diller's used to this. He's got that bandage on the head to represent the, the gutsy performance uh, from the last game. Also to cover up the scar and then try the, the, the cut. There's Tavon Parker with a nice steal. All alone, oh, he missed it. Hit the rim and a nice follow doesn't go. He was kind of in between as to what he was going to do in it. He knows it. Well, he, he, Coach Sowers isn't happy. His brother's not happy. But I'll tell you what, Tavon Parker, uh, it's a sign of aggression when you want to attack the rim like that. So I'm not so quick to criticize. But at the same time, you got to make those shots. If, you, it, it's, if you're going to, if you, in a game like this, if you're going to get an opportunity like that, you got to convert on it. Um, but the young man's aggression uh, just shows you he's come to play. Off the screen, Williams. Nice attempt at a save there by Newby. I'll Red tell you what, Greg, when you got, got 6,000 people in the arena like this, you know, what kid doesn't want to make a dunk in a situation like this? It's hard to blame him. Great crowd here at Giant Center. That is the end of the first quarter. Redland with a two-point lead. Boys quad a title game. You're watching High School Basketball Live on ABC 27, presented by Arlington Orthopedics. To play at a championship level requires a level of discipline few ever achieve. You prepare, you focus, and make a commitment to excellence. That's Hoffman Ford, number one in sales and in service. Because the customer is number one. Choose from over 400 vehicles in stock. Plus, we're your Roush performance dealer. Bigger selection, better deals. Hoffman Ford. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here.
We make carbine simple by knocking down all the hurdles we can. We do what you expect, what's logical or just plain right. For instance, the live market driven prices we offer up front are the same everywhere you may choose to shop. Our prices are the same on the internet, by phone, or in the showroom. That's how it should be. Experience car buying made simple at Bobby Ray Hall on the Carlisle Pike, Mechanicsburg. Second quarter, ready to go. Boys, quad a district championship from Giant Center. Greg Mace, Charlie Fortney, Mark Hall will hear from him in just a moment as he was listening to Troy Sowers on the York sideline. Redland working it in. York gets it right back. Here come the Bearcats. When that's the danger when you're a post player, putting that ball on the floor. Yeah, Calvin Parker shows he can knock down the shot and he can put the ball in the hole from in close. I'll tell you, that's the whole package there. Mark Hall was listening into a Troy Sowers on the uh, York bench. Mark, what'd you hear? Well, Greg, as you can imagine, Coach Sowers was not happy with that missed dunk. We know that if you convert it, that can be a momentum builder, but if you miss it, that could be a momentum killer. So that was a topic of conversation. He encouraged his players to make smart decisions. On the Redland side, the game plan is simple. Uh, Coach Slayton said, let's continue to be patient, continue to work the ball, and utilize their size advantage down low. We'll see what happens. Let's send it back to you. Size advantage to Steven Zach didn't go. A little collision there at the Giant Center logo. Well, when you're an athlete like Calvin Parker, you don't fall for no reason at all. And that's what the referees, that's what the referees were picking up on right there. Um, Diller caught him with the knee. But let me tell you something. This game looks just like Reading. You got Steve back, Zach getting off to an early start. Mike Zingari does not have a point right now. And that's the guy that, 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 that Redland has to get in the game right now. He needs to step up. And, and, and add another dimension to this team because that, that was the separating factor in the, in the semifinal. Williams, high arc. And here's a young man that can, he's the best penetrator they have. And that's how you break the zone defense of Redland is by having penetration. Antonelli trying to go low. Oh, a reach in. Now Parker's got to be careful because they're going to need him on the floor uh, every step of the way here. That's his uh, that's his second foul. They don't need him getting third. He's drawn one of the toughest assignments tonight, guarding the six nines and Gary. Coach Sowers at one point might have to make a decision on switching up who's guarding Zingari. So Redland will get the ball down three. Early second quarter. Boys quad a title game from Giant Center. Antonelli to Antonelli. It's going away, it's Kelvin Parker. And that time, John Williams for two more. Now the speed of York is starting to kick in and they're converting shots. As where Redding had the similar speed, didn't convert the same shots on the other end. Boy, Nick Diller might be the best at knowing how to use his body. Now it's even on the fouls. We got four and four here. Yeah, he knows how to he knows how to use his body. Once he goes by the defender. Cuts back in front, gets him on his side and his back, and that, that's a foul every time when you have position like that. Here's Diller trying to go to Big Steve Zach. There's Mike and Gary. Outside for three. Those are shots that can open things up for Redland. Yeah, putting the ball on the floor is not. Parker. Skied the hoop, didn't work. Then Gary gets it back. Redland's getting caught up a little more in running with York, which they did not do against Redding. They were happy with killing that momentum, and they're going to have to get a little more happy with that. Well, this is going to play in. There's Zingari. This is going to play in York's favor to keep this kind of pace. Putting that ball on the floor has not been working. They, Coach Sowers did a good job of teaching his guys to clamp down on Zach when that ball hits the, hits the ground. Lead down to three, and York... Uh, Taking a little breather. Well, they want to, you know, York wants to bring uh, Redland out of the zone, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to make a prediction. 
Redland never comes out of the zone, and they're happy sitting right there with their two big guys under the basket. Um, and we go to halftime with the score 2017. Um, but I just don't, I just don't think uh, the Redland has to do that. They want to, they want to keep Zach right there in that, in that sweet spot where he can do things like that. Big block, block there by Steve Zach. Dante Davis will inbound it for York. Now Redland ha has picked up a little on the perimeter, at least with the guards, just to get him to speed it up, and it, and it has worked. Diller had the ball handed to him, and then he had the three-pointer and gave it inside to Zach, who hits inside. Yeah, and it's hard for York to defend that. They, they just don't have a body. They just don't have bodies to, to, to handle that size. York's lead is one, 4-10 left in the half. Having been to Arlington Orthopedics uh, several times over the past roughly 15 years, I have found them to be very caring. For 15 or 20 years, I've dealt with sciatic nerve pain down both legs. Kind of figured I was going to have that all my life. Because of uh, crippling arthritis, I no longer could hold on to things. We went through this disc fusion sur surgery. It's just changed my whole life. The pain is virtually gone, and he fully expects me to return to 100%. Foreman and Babs Certified Public Accountants is a full-service accounting, tax, and consulting firm with over 17 years' experience serving the central Pennsylvania region. From taxes to payroll, from corporate accounting to business consulting, let Foreman and Bab help you achieve your financial success. Greg Mace, Charlie Fortney, and Mark Hall, as always on our sidelines, listening in to the coaches. Mark. Well, Greg, we heard from uh, York coach Troy Sowers, and he sensed that there was a momentum switch and that Redland was starting to slow down the pace and pound the ball inside. You can look for uh, York to try and pick up the tempo of this game and see if they can create some turnovers. Let's get back to you. 20 to 19 is the York advantage. Well, to my surprise, Redland has obliged a little bit here, and they're playing a real soft man. Uh, a real help side man on the big guys. It appears to be a zone at times, but it is man on the ball. And at least will keep York. Uh, and that'll keep... Wow. That will keep York uh, at least having to do something and not just stall out front. Huh. Deja Williams, I think, learned right there what, what going up against seven foot looks like. He's going to play some college basketball as good as he is, so he'll he'll be learning that for too long, but he's getting a dose of it right now. Dante Davis takes a seat. A little bit of pressure in the backcourt applied by DeJon Williams. On Nick Diller. Double teamed. Oh, a little Houdini move there. Got out of that one. And then Antonelli gets it back. York well, crowd doesn't like that one. Well, they're not happy with some of these uh, calls. Um, I'm not under the basket, so I don't know what happened there. But they, they just want to see, I think they just want to see the Bearcats be able to play that full court game and, and, and have a little bit of, be able to have some aggression. They don't feel like, I don't think they feel like it's being matched on the other end. But let's see what this looks like. Okay, position, Zingari has position. He Run goes up, him. he gets straight. Okay, they're, they're saying that's a clean strip, and I might be able to agree with them on that. So Zengary will go to the line looking for his fourth point, and he's got it, and Redland is on top by one. Yeah, and Mike's a quiet scorer, Mike Zengary, um, but any point he scores is a dagger in the other team because he... You know, he brings that 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 dimension, a player, that more three-man face-up four type game that 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 teams just don't have uh, players like that in high school basketball. Smith has five. The York lead back to two. Go back to York. Well, with 2:55 to go in the in the second period. Coach Sowers is liking where he's at. He's up by two. Um, Redland's liking where they're at. They just want to be, they want this to be a grind out game. They want to win it with their bigs, getting the ball and getting uh, York in foul trouble toward the end. Uh, so this is a game that is, both teams I think uh, are in a good position right now. And, and 
here's Deja Williams. Uh, if he gets it going from outside, he could separate York from Redland uh, like he did right there. Scott Schleitner, coach, break, whistle, foul. Well, not, we haven't heard from Kelvin Parker in a while here. It's three on Nick Diller. Nick Diller, and yeah, they got it. They got to end the half with him out of the game, and he's the guy that Slayton does not want out of the game. Collins. Oh, nice to roll. Take yep. By Colin Smith, number 15. Antonelli to bring it across. York has suddenly opened up a seven point advantage. Not for long. There's Antonelli. Well, Duke was quiet in the semifinals. Him having a big game here in the finals is going to be key to Redland uh, being able to come back in this and get back in this game. Billy Wilt, Antonelli behind the back. Under two left here in the first half. Zach missed everything. Who got it? And it's going to go back to Redland, stay with Redland. Tavon Parker debating that one. No, that was a close one. It's hard, hard to see from our vantage point, but I'll tell you, they're battling around the basket. This is a ball game here in the Giants Center, Greg. 135 left in the half. Redland needs a basket here. Soft touch by Zach. Billy Will, nice hustle for the offensive rebound. Wow, he came out of nowhere to get that rebound. Gets the basketball back. Antonelli going inside now. Outside of Zengari. That's a big shot for Mike Zengari, showing why he's a, a versatile post player. Oh. Wow, Colin Smith. Didn't even move the net. Wow, two baskets in a row for Colin Smith to answer. B has a big game here for York. Wow, that's another weapon for them. He's got 10. Nice, nice help side defense by Tavon Parker. And Calvin Parker was coming close to getting his third, hanging on 6'9", Mike Gary, but that worked out for York beautifully. Kelvin shows his ability here. He can handle the ball. He can shoot the three. He can dunk. Athletically, as, as, as good as any high school basketball player I've seen in a while. Whistle out front. It looks like Billy Wolf got caught reaching in. Looks like we got a Lancaster crew of officials here. Benny Kinlock, Mel Newcomer, and Travis Sorensen. Well, I was coaching in the private school league. We've seen a bunch of these guys. Parker. Now he realizes there's 11 seconds left. Coach won the last shot. That's good senior leadership to know the situation. Good hustle by Billy Wilk. Oh, it's a rugby scrum, and Antonelli comes away, and it gets blocked at the buzzer. Oh, they didn't call goaltending. Redland won a goaltending on that. Yeah, and what, he, what he's saying is, Coach Slayton saying is once the ball's on the glass, and I might side with Coach Slayton on this, that, that if we, I don't know if we can see a replay, but once that ball hits the glass, that's a, that's, that's a goaltending is what he's, what he's saying to the official. All right, Mark Hall is standing by with your coach, Troy Sowers. Mark. Well, Coach Troy Sowers of York High joins us now. Coach, on a competitive first half, what were your thoughts? What did your team do well? I think we got out and went. Uh, we're the tempo where we want it right now. Um, I think we just have to, for 16 minutes, the next quarter, play good pressure defense and make sure we do what, what Bearcat basketball is, and that's up and down the floor for 32 minutes. Both teams are competing. Calvin Parker picked up his second foul with six minutes to go in the second half. Yeah. It was a gamble. You kept him in. Why? Uh, uh, I, uh, because I need Calvin Parker on the floor at all times. Every time down the court, I yelled, don't foul, and he said, I got you, Coach. So I trust him. Uh, I need Calvin Parker on the floor. Coach, good luck in the second half. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, Greg, obviously, we got 16 more exciting minutes to watch. And the best news about it all is I got the best seat in the house. Let's go back to you. <laughs> all 
All right, let's take a look at uh, what happened there at the end of the half because that was a uh, that was a wild finish, Charlie. Yeah, and, and I think what Coach Slayton's saying is once this ball goes on the glass, once it hit the glass, okay, no, now the referee is right. The ball had not hit the glass yet, and the block had happened on the way up. So that was a great call by the official. 31-26, York at the half. Stay with us. More halftime activity and up close and personal with Arlington Orthopedics as we continue here on ABC 27. Get ready to start popping with Pizza Hut's Cheesy Bites Pizza. It's your favorite Pizza Hut pizza surrounded by 28 tasty cheese-filled bites. You won't be able to stop pulling them, dipping them, and popping them. And right now, a Cheesy Bites pizza with your favorite topping is just $11.99. Plus, add a two-liter Pepsi and an order of breadsticks for just five bucks more. The Cheesy Bites pizza deal won't last long, only $11.99 and only at your Pizza Hut. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, weathered a handful of recessions, and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. Having been to Arlington Orthopedics uh, several times over the past roughly 15 years, I have found them to be very caring. For 15 or 20 years, I've dealt with sciatic nerve pain down both legs. Kind of figured I was gonna have that all my life. Because of uh, crippling arthritis, I no longer could hold on to things. We went through this disc fusion sur surgery. It's just changed my whole life. The pain is virtually gone, and he fully expects me to return to 100%. Ryan and Todd from Hoffman Ford. Harrisburg's largest volume and only Ford dealer. What does Hoffman Ford mean to you? Respect, outstanding customer service. Honest communication, superior sales and service staff. Did you know that we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Check us out at HoffmanFord.com. Check out our new and used inventory, look for service specials, make appointments, get a quote, and even apply for credit. That's right, just another reason why Hoffman Ford is Harrisburg's most powerful name in Fords. You've tuned in to Up Close and Personal with Arlington Orthopedic. I'm Charlie Fortney, and today I will be interviewing Dr. John Grandremo on foot injuries. Well, naturally, Dr. Grandremo, my favorite part of your credentials is uh, being the team physician for the PGA. Um, talk about your finest experience being around the pro golfers. It was very interesting, a great pleasure and honor to do that. Uh, we had worked at Nemecolin Resort for one of the golf outings that were there. One of my finest stories was meeting Vijay Singh. Um, I'm not a very the good lion, the lion. I'm not a very good golfer, uh, but um, it was a pleasure to meet those guys and, and watch how they how they play golf. As you know, I had a foot injury over the last seven weeks. Uh, how do you grade me as a patient? Did I do good for you? Yeah, after uh, a few hours of talking to now, uh, you did fine. Uh, and the injury that you had was a fracture to one of the bones in your foot called an avicular fracture. Uh, I think you did very well. We had talked about that when you first came in about your diagnosis and how we treat that. I think you were very, very compliant, uh, being a very active and, and busy person. I'm sure it was very difficult for you to, to uh, keep up with that kind of regimen. But you did great, uh, and you came back in. I think today was your final visit, uh, and you passed, and you, were, you graduated, so you're, you're doing good. Particularly for your, for your fracture, it was a bone called the navicular bone, which is on the uh, inside part of the foot. Uh, and that fracture has different types, there's different types of fractures that you can have as well as other bones in the, in the foot. Uh, yours in particular uh, happened more on the medial aspect and it was a fracture that was uh, uh, a certain size to it which we're concerned about as we talked about the need for you to kind of be non-weight bearing. But it occurred out here and, and that's when we made you non-weight bearing for a good four to five weeks at which time you, you were compliant, you came back in. And our concern was that this fracture did not heal as some fractures may not 
uh, or it displaces, meaning it moves into a different position, uh, that will cause problems as it will if it heals in, in, in a uh, wrong place or not in an anatomical uh, alignment. Now, naturally, my foot injury wasn't as common as as, as Javon Kersey's. Um, uh, fortunately for, for me as an Eagles fan, he was able to come back from that injury. But talk about what he was going through and, and what his injury was all about. Yes, Javon Kurz had a fracture, we call it a Jones fracture. Uh, it's actually a uh, fracture at the uh, part of the fifth toe, the, the metatarsal here, at the metaphyseal diaphyseal junction, which is how we describe it. Um, the fifth toe itself, this area, is kind of a watershed area. It's a, not a great blood supply. So when a fracture occurs there, um, we tell our patients that they should be uh, non-weight bearing and that it can also, always uh, end up in a, a position where they may have to have surgery on because it may not heal. And that's the biggest concern. Well, I know Jay McDuffie didn't have uh, the same success. Uh, you know, him being a former Penn State guy and a Miami Dolphin, he, uh, his injury knocked him out of the NFL and out of a football career. O.J. McDuffie had something called turf toe, which is a, uh, an injury to the, the first toe of the foot and more from a, uh, it's an axial pressure from the back on the heel. Uh, then they have a hyper, uh, hyperextension injury to the base of their toe there. Um, it, it's a type of injury that has different grades, but uh, if it's severe enough, it can require surgery. As you know, I coach basketball, and I had a young man that played for me over the summer that uh, had a stress in his foot. And his doctor was saying that that was a precursor to a stress fracture. Is, is, that, is that accurate? Stress fractures develop because people are putting uh, abnormal forces across the foot or have stepped a certain way. Um, that fracture can take a good four to six weeks to heal if seen and treated properly. If not, it can go on to be more of an ongoing problem for them until they're treated. To see the full interview with Dr. Grandrimo on foot injuries, go to advancedtubes.com. Thanks for watching. That was really up close and personal with uh, Charlie Fortney and uh, physical therapy right there, wasn't it? All right, Redland uh, is coming out. We're going to uh, check in here just momentarily here with uh, Mark Hall and Redland coach Scott Slayton and get some of his impressions as his team is down 31 to 26 at the half as uh, coach Slayton making his way over to uh, Mark. And here is Mark Hall with Redland coach Scott Slayton. Mark. Well, Greg, obviously Redland, very competitive. Coach, you're just down five. What did you tell your kids at halftime? We got a lot of things went well for York in that first half. They shot lights out. Um, some things didn't go the way we wanted them to do, and to only be down five, the key is the first two minutes of this half. What are you going to do? Put the ball, get the ball down low? Well, we got to continue to do that. We've done it all season, but we also have to be able to take care of the basketball. And when our initial transition breaks down a little bit, we got to be able to go into our half court set. Coach, thank you very much. No problem. Well, Greg, obviously 16 minutes of game time left, and we're going to be here to check it all out. Let's go back to you. All right, we're going to uh, check in here with one of our great sponsors, Bill Warner from Select Physical Therapy. Uh, it's been great to have you guys on board here, and uh, you've been come, uh, become an important part of our uh, broadcast. So thanks to Select Physical Therapy for being with us this year. Thank you. It's been uh, proud to be a part of this in uh, sponsoring uh, great athletes and great uh, basketball. We uh, service uh, the industrial athlete, the uh, normal individual like myself and you in, in the sports medicine world with five convenient locations in the central PA re uh, region. All right. Bill Warner, Select Physical Therapy, thanks for joining us. I'm going to take this headset off of you very gently, and then I'm going to pass it over here to uh, Charlie Fortney, who uh, will gently put it on. There you go. I don't you don't do, do anything gentle. I don't gently. do anything gentle. You know, by the way, <laughs> that was those were great shots of you because you did this. You know, that, those weren't stage. You broke your foot. I'm telling you, man. It's <laughs> like if it wasn't for my man, Dr. Grangimo, over at Arlington Orthopedic, man, I would have been – I was hurting. Put it that way. I, I was hurting. But I tell you what, he's – talked me through every step of the way and like one week into it I was so sore I called him on his cell phone about 9 30 at night thinking he would be upset and he was like no no call me anytime call me anytime and he talked me through my pain and there's Calvin Parker again um what nice timing that was Parker to Parker on that play uh, man the Parker brothers are having a great day he's got eight almost a steal loose Diller came away with it. Antonelli. Rebound underneath went to Zengari, and he's fouled. Okay, now this is what happened in the Redding game, and I hate to, I hate to say it's a tale of two games, but Mike Zengari came out and had a great half uh, against, uh, against Redding. 
Uh, and, and he's starting out here on the foul line. But right there, Diller is being worked overtime. He's going to need some help uh, you know, handling that basketball. This pressure of York, it's going to be interesting to see, Greg, does it keep wearing on Redland, or can Redland respond and settle into the half-court game? They've yet to really settle into that half-court game yet. Zengary's got eight. Lead is back to six. Boys, quad a title game. Greg Mays, Charlie Fortney, Mark Hall from Giant Center in Hershey. Ole Valley won the girls' AAA title, beating Lancaster Catholic in the first game of our doubleheader. Who got the rebound? Nobody yet. Redland finally does. Well, it looked like a volleyball match going on around the basket. But Steve Zach having the outstretched hands there definitely won the match. Um, that's what happens when you're seven foot, Greg. You can make up for a lot of mistakes. Um, I wish I was seven foot. I could have played in the NBA maybe. I could have dunked more. <laughs> that's for sure. Everybody wants to be seven foot when you play basketball. Nice running one-hander there by Colin Smith. Wow, he's had some nice contributions in this game. Five points in a row in that first half at a point when they separated themselves a little bit from Redland. There's a big bucket. Now they're up, up by eight. This is an important time for Redland uh, to answer. York's pressure is really good right now. Zach got it to Antonelli, and Duke Antonelli has his fourth point. Cuts the lead down to six. Redland needs to get the ball up to Steve Zach more, even in the press, because he does a good job of throwing over. He's, he's a lot better passer than people give a Steve Zach credit for. There's Colin Smith. Nothing. Antonelli got the rebound. There's Zach again. Inside. He doesn't want to be, ooh. Calvin Parker. Nice pass by Parker. Williams. Well, wow, Williams is comfortable in that. Pull. Might be one of the better pull-up jump shooters that we've seen here in a while in high school basketball. He's very, very crafty, very quick. Yeah, York showing their quickness there. Williams again, the block by Steve Zach. Zengary, little floater. Well, and this is Redland getting opportunities in transition, but not being near as comfortable in transition. Now, Scott Slayton wants to talk about this. 39-29, 5.28 left in the third. High school basketball continues here on ABC 27, presented by Arlington Orthopedics. Hank and Jim of Weaver Financial Services have been serving families and businesses in central Pennsylvania for the past 40 years. Life insurance, financial services, and products, call Hank or Jim. They're the nicest guys around. To be sure. Butner Toyota on Paxton Street across from the Harrisburg Mall invites you to check out our extensive assortment of new and used vehicles. Consider the excitement of driving the RAV4 or the functionality of our top rated Sienna minivan. Test drive the super fuel efficient Prius hybrid along with our Camrys, Corollas, Tacoma pickups as well as a full selection of Scions. You'll find security, design, comfort and a price that will fit your own lifestyle. Call or visit us at FaulknerToyota.net. 5.28 left, third quarter. York with a 10 point advantage and Redlands got the basketball in the boys quad eight title game. Mark Hall, what'd you hear? Greg Redland coach Scott Slayton. Greg Redland coach Scott Slayton was very direct in his remarks. He said, look, they're working the ball and they're getting it down low, but they have to be stronger down low and convert. He said that they're getting the ball inside, but their bigs must put the ball in the basket. Let's go back to you. Antonelli hits. Well, and, and Redland did something there they haven't done. They, they shot fake, they're patient. Uh, they're getting the shots. They're, they're, they're making York uh, uh, think more. They're, they're, they're making that extra pass, and they need to do that more to get back in this basketball game because York's just in a rhythm here defensively. Redland possession, almost halfway through the third quarter. There's Nick Diller, gave it right up to Parker. Williams, now well, ran over top of Diller. Williams has 13. 
Uh, and they're for, they tried to force the ball to Mike Zingari. They're trying to get Kelvin Parker's third foul on him, but in trying to force that pass in there, that was a bad angle. You want to make that pass to the post from the wing, ideally, and not from the top unless it's wide open. Redland never won a district title. Trying to get their first. Roll doesn't go. Who's got the basketball foul underneath? The uh, York district titles go way, way back. In fact, they go back to 1948 when there was just one class. They won six single-A titles. They last won a quad-A title back in 1995. So that, as we have uh, gone into the modern era of all these classes, they have not won since 95. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach Sowers just breathed a sigh of relief as he's wearing his orange uh, uh, button down over there to match team colors. But he... He thought Kelvin Parker was the foul guy on that. That would have been the third foul on Parker, and, and it, it was not given to Parker. Thank goodness for York Bearcats, because Parker has been all over the place here for the Bearcats. Dejon Williams bringing it up for York. Smith decides he's got it, but Steve Zack has it in his hands and then gave it right back up, and that is movie. I tell you what, York is getting a contribution from the entire team here. A great steal by Newby for a layup. It's, it's points like these, and, and, and Colin Smith had a few of these earlier. It's points like these that just keeps Redland from getting back in this game or in any kind of uh, any kind of groove. Antonelli. York playing with a lot of confidence right now. And they're working the ball and using their teammates very well. A nice cut. Nice cut. Yeah, a lot no, of great vision on this Yeah, team. yeah, and Kelvin Parker did a good job of cutting to the basket on that play. Uh, and that's a foul, I believe. That Diller's got four. You know, there's not one other player on the court that has a foul other than, you know, other than Nick Diller. And uh, <laughs> that might be why he has four fouls. He needs a little bit of help in the aggressive category defensively. Then Gary had his shot deflected. York's getting a handle on a lot of easy ones. A lot of scramble there. York comes away with it down court. Williams. Boy, they're getting all the rolls. Well, the speed of the game is, 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 really, is, is definitely going York's way right now. With Redlands passing into the timing of all the Lots of transition, a lot of transition baskets, and Scott Slayton says we got to talk about this. York fans sensing perhaps a title. Redland wants to get back in it. 47-33, third quarter. We make carbine simple by knocking down all the hurdles we can. We do what you expect, what's logical or just plain right. For instance, the live market-driven prices we offer up front are the same everywhere you may choose to shop. Our prices are the same on the internet, by phone, or in the showroom. That's how it should be. Experience car buying made simple at Bobby Ray Hall on the Carlisle Pike, Mechanicsburg. I want to thank our uh, Penn National Insurance sponsors, and Charlie, they have been uh, a great partner with Advanced Hoops and ABC 27 in sponsoring our keys to the game, many of the elements. We thank all of our great sponsors. This, and I pointed this out before, we probably won't have a lot of time to talk about this at the end, but this is the first time that any mid pen full schedule has been televised live on any local TV station. So hats off to you. We at ABC 27 have been thrilled to do it and uh, very excited that we've been able to bring folks all of these great games this season. Well, guys, it's guys like, uh, you know, and, and businesses like, you know, Ken Shutt at Penn National and, you know, Mike Collins, Bill Werner. And, these guys over at Select Physical Therapy, um, you know, Butch Huffman and Huffman Ford and the doctors at Arlington Orthopedic and the folks at Pizza Hut. Just, it just it takes that kind of thing to put these games on and, and people uh, need to hear that, need to know that because it, a lot of student athletes, in fact, there's some teams that said some of these high school basketball live, live games have motivated their team, have, have inspired their season. We're just happy that, that we could be a part of that. Well, and we've got, now I just go to a lot of games just normally, and we've gotten really a lot, a lot of great response. People were calling me saying, are you televising the semifinals? I said, no, just the finals. 
All right, there's Gary underneath. He's got 10. Well, they're trying to go to work early because this isn't out of it. It's a 12-point game. There's still a good 10 minutes to play, a quarter and two minutes. Uh, they're denying D. John Williams the ball right now. Uh, it looks like a triangle and two. It's something they talked about, uh, I think, before the game. Didn't go to it too much. Um, uh, the triangle two with Diller. Um, Zingari and Zach in the, in, the, in the triangle. And then we got Antonelli and Antonelli guarding Williams and Parker to try to slow those two guys down. Only the second foul in this half for Redland. You don't see a triangle too much in high school basketball. I know Cedarcliff used it a little bit against uh, uh, York, and it worked at times. Um, it's going to go back the other way. There is Troy Sowers, York High Bearcat coach. Uh, Troy does a really good job. He has, he's in the school with the kids. He has a great rapport with these young men. He has a right balance for them, and they respect him. That's one thing about Coach Sowers is this team respects him and what he's doing. A driving, running one-hander by Zengary finally falls. Now, that was a no call. Uh, Parker, York, they wanted to charge, uh, but it's a 10-point game, and, and two quick buckets for Zengary in a row. York wants to talk it over. 124 left of the third. Bearcats with a 10-point lead. Advanced Hoops is celebrating 10 years of training youth in the Harrisburg region. In 2010, we trained over 1,000 youth from kindergarten to 12th grade. Our spring program is going to be amazing. So as I pass the ball, you make the call. To get any questions answered regarding our spring games, shooting, dribbling, or AAU opportunities. We specialize in making training look easy. And Charlie is not the only one that can shoot a basketball around. Forty-seven, thirty-seven. Final moments of this third quarter. Greg Mace with Charlie Fortney, and uh, Mark. What'd you hear? Well, Greg, we had a chance to listen in in the New York huddle, and Coach Sowers really likes the pace of the game. He encouraged his team to continue to, to apply the defensive pressure, but more importantly, to play together. He expects that Redland's going to make a run, and he wants to make sure that his kids are ready for that. Let's go back to you. Oh, there's a steal by Billy Wilk. Uh, Redland putting a little bit of pressure. That Now they're, it's a full-court man. Wow. Turnover. Traveling on Antonelli. And Duke didn't like that. Uh, he did shuffle his feet, whether it was a walk or not, but he did shuffle his feet and trying to pick that ball up, and the referees picked up on that right away. They're leaving a lot of open shooters up. They're, they're taking their percentages here. Trying to keep Kelvin Parker under control. Unselfish play wow. right there, Newby. Yeah. That was Parker, nice penetration to start that series off. That was a simple basket, but that was a big basket. Yeah. Yeah, because... Now they're back to 12. Well, yep. Yeah, we saw Ole Valley do the same thing when Lancaster Catholic girls were making a run earlier. This seems to be vintage that game. I tell you what, Scott Slayton's not wasting anything. He's putting Diller back in. Um, I know he has four fouls, but he's kind of figuring the game's going to be won and lost right now, and he doesn't want to not have Diller on the floor as senior leader during this time. Way outside, Antonelli's shot doesn't go. Zach gets the rebound, light touch. Stuck, jump. Stay with Redland. Oh, that, that's how they decide that. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. I, know. <laughs> I guess you don't see that too often. But no. the Huffman four player of the game, I, I can't come close to voting right now. But I will say senior Kelvin Parker is a little bit in the lead here because of how he's inspired his team. Some tremendous acrobatic plays uh, early on. But we got a lot of basketball here yet before we can talk about the Huffman four player of the game. 10 seconds left, third quarter. York looking for one, scoop, didn't work. At the buzzer, end of three. Redland trying to get back in it. York 49, Redland 37, and you're watching the boys quad a district title game on ABC 27, and it's presented by Arlington Orthopedics. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, 
weathered a handful of recessions and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. All-state freshman Malia Tate DeFridis tore her ACL in a heated state playoff and her dreams seemed shattered. I tried to come back in and it wasn't working out. I thought that my basketball career was over. Getting an assist from the doctors at Arlington Orthopedic, Malia is ready to attack the hoop this season. It feels good when I jump and cut and stuff. It feels normal and the brace really helps me. To go from tears to a smile, it was, it was, it was just a beautiful thing. Here we go, fourth quarter. York with a 49-37 lead. Mark Hall, it's yours. Well, Greg, Redland coach Scott Slayton told his team that just because they're down 12 points, it doesn't mean they can get back into this game. He emphasized the importance of each possession. He told his team to take care of the ball, play hard defense, and play together. Let's see what happens. Let's go back to you. Simple as that. Well, and this is a team that's been around for a long time. You got great experience. They're not going down without a fight. Uh, you got Steve Zach, Nick Diller, seniors. They they want it. They don't want to leave the Giants Center without a gold medal around their neck. Bottom line is you got to make shots though, and that's that's what they got to do on this end of the ball. And they got to make good decisions on turnovers. There's Williams. Second dunk of the game. 51-37. Williams has 17. The roll goes to Zengari. He's got 14. Well, I like the way DeJon Williams has been playing. Oh yeah, he, he's just a hard player to match up with. He's he slither like he slithers in there quick. He can jump as you can see right there. He can shoot the three. The number 21 handle the ball right now. Boy, what a senior year. Great football player. I, I've had the privilege of coaching Kelvin Parker on his jump shot uh, oh, this past year, but just just a great Great uh, team leader for York this year. Coach Sowers couldn't have asked for anything more from Kelvin as far as how much he's leading his team this year uh, as a senior. Now, isn't that the way things have gone for Redline here? Mike Zangari had made a great move to the hoop and then did not get the bounce off the rim. Well, and he's being forced to have to handle the ball and, and not his comfort zone having to play the two guard role per se. York's just not get or Redlands just not getting in the ball in a position to score where they're comfortable, and that 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 that's what we saw a lot actually in the in the Lancaster Catholic Ole Valley game for girls earlier. Ole Valley winning the girls Triple A championship, beating Lancaster Catholic 71-62 for their first title. Of course, all these teams head to the state playoffs no matter what happens here in the finals. Davis, hard, he got his own rebound. Davis. Seniors got four and the lead's 55-39. And it's gonna go back to York. Yeah, York is, they're getting, they're getting the hustle points uh, right now as well. Yeah, Diller, they can't keep him on the bench any longer. It's gonna be tough for Redland to get back in this game because they're a zone-oriented team. You know, they don't sub a lot. And, and they're not going to be able to cause York to cough up the ball. York, York may, may try to work some time off the clock here in the spread like they are right now. And, and these are tempting shots, though. And I think Coach Showers uh, wants his players to stay aggressive at this point. There's Newby with the rebound put back. And he's got eight tempting shots, and then they got the rebound even off the miss. Everything going great for York as they look for their first district title since 1995. This is a team that won 22 straight in the regular season. 
Zengari. He's got 17. Now yeah, Mike's got to do a lot more of that right now. If they're going to get back in this game, they got five minutes to go, down 15. York's not going to give anything up quick, uh, too easily here. Redland on the break. Here's Antonelli to the line, to the lane, has his shot blocked, and there's Williams again. He's doing it all. Whew. Good take by freshman do, uh, Dominic Antonelli, but Deja Williams showing he can do it all. He can block shots, hit threes, dunk the basketball. He did everything but drive a Cadillac in the Giants Center here today, Greg. Zingari. There's Parker. He's got 12. Redland wants to talk it over again. 59-42, 4.29 left. Displays and graphics, 5700 Linglestown Road in Harrisburg, your one-stop shop. Offering full-color banners, indoor and outdoor signage, banner stands, trade show displays, and plaques. Visit displaysandgraphicsinc.com. Exceeding expectations is our goal. AAU Spring Basketball with Advanced Hoops. 21 teams last year featuring the top boys basketball players from all over the region. Advanced Hoops AAU features 10 to 11 player rosters, guarantees playing time, all man-to-man -man style play, and every player gets professional skill training along with top quality AAU tournaments. Advanced Hoops has helped over 25 high school athletes get scholarships over the last two years. Amazing results. I call this AAU with the follow through. Well, York High getting set perhaps to celebrate their first district title since 1995. This is the uh, second of our double header here at Giants Center. In fact, Charlie, you probably know this, we're actually sitting on the ice and the rink crew here at Giants Center that does a phenomenal job in two and a half hours. We'll turn this place around. <laughs> I'll be back here. We got a Hershey Bears hockey game at seven o'clock. Well, I'll tell you. I'm cold just sitting here as you say that. And Greg, I feel like ice is under me. But I'll tell you what, uh, speaking of ice in his veins is Kelvin Parker. I'll tell you, Huffman four player of the game, hands down, York High, Kelvin Parker. Um, Superman. Well, this has been a, a very solid team effort. Three guys in double figures. Um, for, yeah, for Redland, looking like Mike Zingari with 17. Uh, looking like maybe their player of the game. but. We got four minutes to go. A lot can happen here. Um, but Redland's going to have to stop, start getting some stops and then making shots on the other end to try to get it under 10 here. But 17 point lead against this team is going to be hard, hard to come back against. Both these teams will head to the Quad A state playoffs after this. And that will begin next weekend. These guys will play next Saturday. A reach in called against Zen Gary. And there is a Scott Slayton. Reminder coming up on ABC 27 News tonight at 6 o'clock. We'll have uh, more highlights of this game, post-game reaction. John Repitz will be in for new father Josh Reed. We congratulate the Reed family on the birth of their first. Big block right there by Steve Zack. Well, when you're seven foot swinging down, boy, that's hard to shoot over that. Zach cutting inside, lays it home. He's got 14. York's done a good job of keeping Redland uh, from even having opportunities like that by keeping him in the full court transition game. Running one-hander, it's Newby. He's got 10. They just make it happen every which way. Yeah, they got a lot of weapons and a lot of guys back. Two for York next year. Antonelli for three. Speaking of guys back, there's one of the best freshmen in the area back for Redland next year. What a player with, what a confident young man. If the Antonelli's back, and Gary Redland's not gonna, not gonna be bad next year either. Well, they just answer every bucket. They have not given Redland any opportunity to get back in this. Under three left. Play right in front of us. Go, 
Diller is fouled. Yeah, this the thing the thing about the way Redland plays, if a team gets ahead of them, they got to keep a closer, keep a lead. If the team gets ahead of them like a team like this, it's it's hard to, they don't have the ability to pressure themselves back in the game or to come back from a deficit. That's the toughest part about the you know the, the, the way this team is made up. And Coach Slayton knows that. Um, but they, they win their games basically on the premise of, of ha having the game under control. Diller has to wait for everybody to come back. Now he says, ah, we don't have a lot of time left, and he goes to the hoop. It's a 14 point game. Nice steal by Zingari. Chance to make it 12, and they do. Well, Zingari showing his versatility there, 12 point game. It's actually a four basket game. Four threes could tie this up right now, if you look at it that way. Four possession game. No. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. Knoll Insurance, located at 704 Bridge Street in New Cumberland. They offer property, casualty, auto, homeowners, health, and life insurance. Knoll Insurance also offers notary services. Call Knoll Insurance today at 774-8128. Final 203 left in the fourth quarter. Okay, uh, Redlands out in a, they got Rhett Baker Sr., number 20, who's been injured all year, getting an opportunity here. Um, they need him for some three-point shots here, possibly. Oh, and there's Newby showing his athletic ability. Just having fun now. Goes out, it'll stay with Redland. Oh, and again, Redland will move on to the uh, state playoffs. They'll be the second seed out of District 3. There are. Greg, let me interject here. You might be watching at home. Why did they put Rhett Baker in for, well, Diller has four fouls. A chance to maybe get a foul and, and get a three on the other end because he can shoot the three ball pretty well. Uh, and that's why the quick, quick uh, uh, sub out there. And a foul against Steve Zach reaching in there. So, I was going to say, seven teams out of Quad A go to the estates. Oh, well, and that's because it's such a competitive, competitive district, and the state recognizes that. Um, what's also exciting is how well the teams in District Three do do when they go to uh, the state tournament, and we're hoping uh, for success this year as well. These two teams could both leave and see each other again. Seven out of quad, six out of triple, three out of double, and then uh, there's a play-in game in single A. So it'll either be a three or four teams coming. There are some play-in games on Tuesday, but the tournament will start in full on Friday and Saturday, state playoffs. As uh, everybody looks down to get toward Giants, the uh, Jordan Center, I should say. It used to be Giants Center, now Jordan Center and State College. A lot of great reviews about the, what's been going on up at State College. A lot of people I know were disappointed that it left Hershey, but uh, State College, Bryce Jordan Center done a great job with the state finals. Well, and it's a showcase area to have it. Um, hats off to Penn State for opening up their campus. I mean, located in the central part of the state, so it's ideal that way. You can get to it from all over. It doesn't pose a two, uh, you know, if you have a tournament in Pittsburgh, it's kind of unfair for the folks on the eastern part of the state, but State Trying College get, is yep. a new, neutral ground. Everybody's used to going to see the Nittany right. Lions in football. Exactly. Minute 24 left. Didn't go underneath, and that is then Gary. He's got 21 to lead everybody. Now Redman's not going to give up. This is amazing. <laughs> Superman has 14. What's nice about Calvin is he's not only can jump, he's fast. 
He can play defense, he can handle the ball, he can shoot the ball. Um, he's got the whole package. Santinelli. And there's Zingari, and he now leads everybody with 23 points. I guess, I guess we're settling in on Huffman four player of the game here, Calvin Parker and for York. Mike Zengary, we'd like to uh, hear from you. Log on to advancedhoops.com. You can vote for our Hoffman Ford player of the game. We thank Butch Hoffman and uh, the folks at Hoffman Ford for their support all year long. And a reminder, if uh, you're looking for uh, a way to develop your young player, it's advancedhoops.com. AU team, spring five on five, shooting with Charlie, dribbling with Gerald, summer camps, advancedhoops.com. That was interesting because, well, the, yeah, go, go ahead, let, we'll talk about the new officials well, real the, quick. Yeah, Donnie Epley, they do a great job of training officials. We had a chance to see that in action last year. Um, if anybody wants to be a new official, they can training class April 5th to June 9th, 2011, East Pensborough Middle School, six to eight. hundred dollars, but they give you a lot of training for that. And, and uh, the officials uh, officials are, are, are doing quite well in this area with, with uh, the training they get and also the opportunities that, that uh, they provide for those officials. I was going to say the York cheerleaders came over and they did a very nice year, but they did it in front of the Red Sea. That didn't go over real big. <laughs> well, in the Red Sea, the, the staff at Redland does a really good job of you know, keeping those students in check and telling them not to go overboard on things, keeping it a uh, sportsmanship uh, at an all time high here. You know, I, and I, we've seen a lot of Redland, a lot of Cedar Cliff this year, and those two cheering sections. I think are the best in the area. They just, they are terrific. Well, and I will give Lancaster Catholic at the boys game with some credit. I actually have a video on my phone that I've texted a few people of the uh, Lancaster Catholic uh, students doing a similar cheer as the, the Golden Corral. Um, in fact, I texted it to one of the Cedar Cliff uh, students to see if they thought that that was better than theirs. And, uh, you know, they, the Golden Corral felt like that they would win out on that battle, of course. We had a shot on that on the news the other night. Uh, of, the, of the Lancaster Catholic kids, the cutaway there. That's 16 for Parker, final minute, and York on their way to their first district title in more than a decade. They will be the number one seed coming out of District 3, and they will be a lot of fun to watch in the state tournament. Now the foul shots will just keep the they may, the, foul, the fouls will just keep the, the points mounting up here for York because they're doing it from every angle. They're knocking down some shots. They're uh, playing some defense. And this is just uh, the York Bearcats day. And hats off to Redland coach Slayton. Uh, you know, they made it to the district finals in quad A. Didn't win the conference this year, but um, had a great year overall. We got Niederreiter in the game right now. Number 30. Tanner Hubbard. Had a big hand for all these guys as they, uh, the York Bearcats will do some substituting as well. What a hand for Kelvin Parker. 16 points. The senior about to win his first district title. Well, and he deserves a heck of a round of applause. What a great game by Parker. And we look forward to him uh, being in the district finals and on to the state playoffs. John Williams has also had a great game today. Robbie Stover getting a call here off the Tanner Hubbard pick. You guys would like to get a get a shot here, get a crack. Stover hits the. Three for Robbie Stover. Final seconds and whistle underneath and they'll send it back to Redland. Possession, stay with us while the medal ceremony coming up. Along with a trophy celebration, Mark Hall will talk with Troy Sowers and with Kelvin Parker. For the first time since 1995, the York Bearcats are the Quad A champions. Yeah. 
69-58, our final. York celebrates. Both teams head to the state playoffs. The medal ceremony and the trophy celebration are coming up. High School Basketball Live on ABC 27 continues, presented by Arlington Orthopedics. To be sure. Buckner Toyota on Paxson Street across from the Harrisburg Mall invites you to check out our extensive assortment of new and used vehicles. Consider the excitement of driving the RAV4 or the functionality of our top rated Sienna minivan. Test drive the super fuel efficient Prius hybrid along with our Camrys, Corollas, Tacoma pickups as well as a full selection of Scions. You'll find security, design, comfort and a price that will fit your own lifestyle. Call or visit us at FaulknerToyota.net. What game will you bring? Your B game or C? Tomorrow's performance depends on today's recovery. Rebuild. Recharge. Reclaim your A game. Regen, intelligent recovery. Fortney Construction is on the move, building additions, renovations, and Pella certified for window and door replacements with a quality of work that the customer can count on. Call today, ask about solar and energy solutions, as well as our solar module installation. You can save money on electric, and the electric company will send you cash for the solar energy your panels generate. Integrity, reliability, and experience is what Fortney Construction is all about, and it's a great name. At Lou Panetti Rogliano and Hockenberry Family Dentistry, you will receive patient care with a smile, along with comprehensive dental treatment and technologically advanced equipment to meet all your family needs. I think what you'll find here, if you look around the office, is a very, very comfortable atmosphere. The quality of care that the doctors give to our patients is absolutely phenomenal. Our service provides a gentle approach from doctors who care. Turner Kia in Harrisburg has your family covered. Need room to transport the kids? Check out the all-new Kia Sorento or Sedona van. The reliable and affordable Kia Soul and Forte are perfect for college students. And Turner Kia has an incredible selection of certified used vehicles for drivers of all ages. All new and certified used Kias come with a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. And with Turner's exclusive TLC, you know you'll be taken care of. As Albert says, Turner is the smart choice for your next vehicle. Turner Kia, Chambers Hill Road, Harrisburg. Scott Slayton, coach of Redland, presenting the runner-up medals to his team, assisted by Lower Dolphin Athletic Director Dave Bidding. Well, Those teams going to learn something coming out of this experience. Well, and Nick Diller and Steve Zack at the end of the line there. Just there's only two teams in the entire district that are still playing, that still play today, and that was these guys. So hats off to them. Congratulations for being runner-up district champs. As you can see on their faces, they wanted to be the district champs but only one team can be that, but it doesn't negate the season. It doesn't say that the season wasn't worth it because you know, this Redland team has battled through a lot of adversity and, and for them to be in this game, there's a lot of teams sitting at home right now that wish that they were in this game right now and are not. So hats off to, to Scott Slayton and his team. They, they've had a great season so far and they're not done yet. They will continue next Saturday in the state playoffs. They get the second seed out of District 3 and here are the Quad A boys. District champions, boy, York brought a great crowd with them today. Redland brought a lot of folks as well. York brought a terrific crowd They're on both sides of the Giant Center. Well, and Coach Sowers, boy, he lost a tough one a couple years back to uh, Central Dolphin East and Bruce Lab, who's now retired. Uh, you know, but now this year he's they're cashing in in a big way. Well, this is a great team effort. You saw some, some spectacular jams here. Parker had 16, Smith with 18, Williams with 17, Newby with 12. You look at you look at four guys in double figures and high double figures for all those guys. Yeah, you know, when a, when a team effort's happening, everybody gets involved and everybody contributes. That's just, that was the key. There's the, the theme for York was team in this win and everybody got involved. Yeah, it was led by Kelvin 16 points or whatever, but 
and his high flying Duncan being certainly inspired me, not only his, his team and the fans here, but this became their game and they, they, they made up, they said, look, we're gonna win or lose playing our game and they did it. And there he is, Kelvin Parker. <laughs> he was just shaking his head like, wow. <laughs> that was terrific. What a Superman-like effort. And they will be continue to be fun to watch here as we head into the uh, state playoffs. And they're the assistant coaches. Guys who do a whole lot of work, Bernie Baxter, Clovis Gallion, volunteer coaches, uh, Dave Graybill. And Troy Sowers will be awarded his medal as well. Now the captains come to the center of the court. And Kelvin Parker there to uh, accept the trophy. And York High, the uh, Quad A champs. And it's yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna stand by. Mark Paul's gonna be with the uh, Coach Troy Sowers. And we are about to send it over to Mark momentarily. Let's, uh, let's head over to Mark Hall, and he is with the winning coach. Mark, it's all yours. Well, we're here with uh, York coach Troy Sowers, and coach, first of all, congratulations. Talk about Thank what you. a district title means for you. Uh, it's sort of unbelievable. I mean, this is my fifth year with the program. I graduated from York High and played here. I know the tradition. Um, uh, the guys worked so hard from last March. So this was about a 10-month process for us. You know, we got to the district championship two years ago, came up a little short with the silver. Uh, gold is much better. First time in 16 years. Uh, these Bearcat players really uh, made the city of York proud today. Coach, we watched 32 minutes of basketball. I don't remember seeing one of your players forcing the shot. Talk about your performance and talk about where you see your team as you move forward in the states. Yeah, I thought we were really disciplined on the offensive end. Uh, we knew we had to attack but be smart with the ball. Uh, the uh, state tournament now is 32 really solid teams, so uh, uh, we have to continue to try to get better, but we're definitely going to enjoy this one for a little while. But talk about Calvin Parker. Uh, Kelvin's our leader. He's been here and he has worked hard for me for four years. Uh, the biggest thing about Kelvin is he's unselfish and wants to win games. He's about 83 and 11 as a starter. Great way to end his career in district play with a gold medal. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Calvin Parker, our player of the game. Calvin, 16 points. You're a senior. You're now a district champion. What does that mean to you? It means a whole bunch. It means we're number one in the, in the districts. It feels great to be here right now. You know, Calvin, you guys, it just seemed like it was a great team effort. You and your teammates never really seemed to force the issue. It seemed like you let the game come to you. What was your strategy coming in to this game? Our strategy was to play as a team and just play good defense, get, get the big man. We, gonna have, we knew we had to stop them, but then we just had, we knew how we had to push the ball and just bring the pressure that we always bring. You, know, you talk about the team effort. You guys are heading the states. Where do you think your team is right now? Is everyone on the same page? Where do you see your team as you move forward in the states? Right now, we're all on the same page right now. Everyone's contributing when we get in. And right now, we try to make the run. We think we can make the run, and we're just going to try to pursue it right now. Calvin Parker, district champion, congratulations. Thank you. Well, Greg, what a great game it was. We're talking about York versus Redland. One team had to win, one team had to lose. The good news, both move on the states, and you never know. They could play again. Let's go back to you. Mark, guys. thanks. 69-58, York, the Quad A champs. Charlie and I will be back for the final word after this. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, weathered a handful of recessions, and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. 
Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. All-state freshman Malia Tate DeFridis tore her ACL in a heated state playoff and her dreams seemed shattered. I tried to come back in and it wasn't working out. I thought that my basketball career was over. Getting an assist from the doctors at Arlington Orthopedic, Malia is ready to attack the hoop this season. It feels good when I jump and cut and stuff. It feels normal and the brace really helps me. To go from tears to a smile, it was, it was, it was just a beautiful thing. Well, the York fans behind us are celebrating their first district title since 1995. Very impressive effort by this York Bearcat team, Charlie. Well, it was a team effort, and you heard Kelvin Parker in his interview with Marcus that they came in. It was all about team. They knew what they were up against uh, against the, the the big guys from Redland, um, and hats off to Redland as well. I mean, to get here, uh, every other team is sitting at home, and Redland's here, and along with York, but was a team effort, and Kelvin uh, was a great leader in this game. Well, this is my 33rd year of covering high school basketball, and I must tell you, thanks to you, Advanced Hoops, and all the folks out there, I've never had more fun covering high school basketball. We had a great time bringing everybody all these live games this year. Well, I appreciate all your efforts uh, on your part, Greg. You've been a great teacher. I'm just a basketball coach. <laughs> but I tell you, the, um, the coaches, the players, the fans have been spectacular in helping us shape this. We've gotten feedback. Uh, we've improved our broadcast because of that. But overall, the kids, it's all about the kids and, and the fans, these, these student sections. Uh, I, I hope those student sections keep doing this. This has made it fun for me. Charlie, thanks so much. Thanks to all the folks again at Chad Edwards and all of our great crew at Invicta Sports. We had a great time doing all these games for you this year. All right, once again, Ole Valley is the AAA girls champ. They beat Lancaster Catholic 71-62. The York boys win 69-58. They are the Quad A champs. Thanks for being with us all year long, and thanks to our presenting sponsor, Arlington Orthopedics. Now for Mark Hall, Charlie Fortney, Greg Mace. Good night from Giants Center.